Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Girl, today is the last day of 2019. I cannot believe it. I have been reflecting on this year all day long and just thinking about all of the things that I have done this year. It's crazy. So I thought, why not sit down in my studio, AKA the garage, and slap on some makeup, do like a little New Year's Eve glam. You know, she's ready for the party and recap on 2019. So let's get started and let's slap on some makeup. All right, so the first thing that I am gonna do is I am going to uh, block my eyebrows with a glue stick. Now you guys have seen that with the kiss video that I did. Um, so I'm gonna do that off camera because girl, she does not have much eyelid space to work with. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, so we have covered up the eyebrows. Now I have purposely left this area right here untouched by the glue and makeup because I'm gonna use it as a guide to draw on my higher arched eyebrows. So that is next, here we go. So now I am diving into the L'Oreal Brow Stylist frame and set. This is so cute, it has like a little, I don't know, what would you call this, Morgan? Like a little, brow dip. It's time to prime these eyes. So before we get into our eyeshadow, I am going to be using the P. Louise base. You guys, this is the best stuff. This is what you need to get. Um, it is absolutely incredible. I learned this from Nikki Tutorials. She uses this every time she puts on her, uh, before she puts on her eyeshadow. And so that's what we're going to do right now. Like I said in the intro, this year has been crazy for me. And I guess I can just start, we can start in January. January of this year, I went to Las Vegas for the very first time, and I got to see my icon, Lady Gaga. Welcome to the show. And um, not only that, but I was sitting right behind Bradley Cooper the entire night, um, along with Gaga's manager was right in front of me, Gaga's fiance at the time was right in front of me. It was crazy. And um, she actually pulled Bradley Cooper on stage that night and they sang Shallow for the very first time live in front of an audience. So So that was a crazy moment uh, for me. Um, it was just so much fun. I had, it was so freeing. Like, I don't know if any of you have ever been to a Gaga concert, but everyone's just so accepting. It's, everyone's just like, you, you feel safe, really. You really do in that room. Um, and she was incredible as usual. And so yeah, that was an amazing night. And Vegas was fabulous, like we had a really good time. All right, everyone, I have slapped on that P. Louise base and now I have found the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use today. It's the Jaclyn Hill palette, yes ma'am. Now she's a little dirty because she has been used a lot. Um, and sh we're gonna dive into all these neutral tones today, so. Let's begin. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to grab a card. The only thing that I can find is my old, my old first driver's license, you guys. I'm not gonna show you because it's so embarrassing, but um, we are gonna use it to cut my eyeshadow. This is a trick that I learned from Aquaria. She's a drag queen. If you guys don't know who Aquaria is, my God, don't talk to me. <laughs> you know what, before all this eyeshadow, I'm going to put some powder under my eyes because I already know there's gonna be fallout and I don't wanna deal with it. Just like that. The next thing that sort of happened in 2019 for me was back in April um, for my birthday, 
My birthday is April 14th, by the way. Um, we went to Seattle, Washington, and we uh, went out in full drag for my 22nd birthday this year. I, and I had never done that before. Like, full drag, out in public. Mug for days. I even went to the Chulele Garden and I had a fabulous photo shoot with um, a girl named Avery who I met this year. She's, she was fabulous. I loved her so much. Yes, we are breaking oh, out the Hooker Hills. <laughs> and I met her at MAC Cosmetics in the mall at Seattle. And she just complimented me on my jacket and we got to talking and I was like, oh my gosh, this girl is beautiful and she's totally model worthy. Why don't we shoot? <laughs> Hello? Anyway, before I was interrupted, we had an amazing photo shoot at the Chilele, Ch Chulele, Chulele? Chulele Garden. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's this museum of art. Everything's made out of glass. Everything's, yeah, it was so beautiful and so cool. And um, I'll throw some photos in and show you uh, what we created together. And so that was basically the Seattle trip in April. All right, now I am going to use another brush and we are gonna dive into a, another shade of brown. I think I will do maybe this one right here or maybe this one, I don't know. Who cares, it's brown. We're creating a new crease, which is actually where my old eyebrow would be. All right, so now I am going to be diving into Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and we are gonna start cutting and refining all of the edges. I'm gonna dive into the Stilla, and this is like a, this is like a glittery gel type situation, I don't know. And we're gonna pop that into the crease. What else happened this year? Okay, so after the Seattle trip, I went to New York City in June for uh, Gay Pride and it was phenomenal to say the least. I also, while I was there, I shot at the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art. I was working on a photo series inspired by this year's Met Gala camp um, and it turned out really cool. I love the Met Gala. I look forward to it every year. Um, it's definitely the one night where the celebrities go all out when it comes to fashion. All right, so this is where we are. Boom. Now I'm going to pop on an eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. We are going to spice things up and I'm gonna add some little gems to my eyes just to give it some more character because I'm still bored. We need some more pizzazz. So let's pop on some crystals. We're just following the line of the eyeshadows. Look how fun, I love that. Okay everyone, so I have popped on those little gems. I love them so much. This has added so much to the eye look. And now I am going to first put some mascara on. I'm gonna use the Great Lash by Maybelline. This has been around forever. This takes me back, you guys. <laughs> I remember distinctly watching my mom as a child applying this mascara um, when she was getting ready for the day. We're gonna start putting some false eyelashes on. I'm even gonna add some little individual lashes to the bottom of my eyes, so let's go. 
The eyes are complete. I think I'm done. Whew. So now I can finally start in on my skin. So again, I am going to be diving into the Porefessional Face Primer by Benefit. I love this stuff. Works amazing. And then for foundation today, I am going to be diving into the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is medium to full coverage and looks amazing on the skin. So that is what I'm going to be doing next. So after New York, my New York trip, um, we are now diving into August. And that is when I officially started the Nocturnal Beings photo series. Um, that's where it all began was in August. I also got my lips done for the first time in August. <laughs> yes, honey, she got her lips done. I got my ears pierced in August. Um, that's when I, like, it was like summertime leading into fall that I really started working on myself. And um, I even like started dieting and working out. I got a gym membership. I lost 30 pounds this year. Um, so yeah and I'm still eating healthy to this day. I'm trying to maintain, it's all about maintaining my weight now. Um, I met my goal, so now I have to maintain it. All right, so after August, we dived into October. That is when I started back on YouTube. And I'm so glad that I did. I love YouTube. I want to really focus in on it for 2020 and put out a lot of new video content. So I'm looking forward to it. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of things to come. Exciting. So in November of this year, I took another trip. <laughs> we went, me and my friend Haley, we went to Atlanta, Georgia. Never had been there before. This year I have traveled, this is the most I've ever traveled um, in one year. And we, went to concerts, we were tourists for the day, we checked uh, everything out, uh, went downtown, ate a lot of good food. Um, it was just a really quick trip. Um, I knew that this year I wanted to take time off and just live and travel and see different parts of the world. And I'm really glad that I did. It's definitely been I've learned so much about myself this year. I feel like a true adult for the first time in my life. Um, and I've, I've grown so much as a person this year, is, is what I'm trying to say. And um, I don't regret taking time off and um, just working and doing whatever the hell I wanted to this year. I think it's important to Take time off for yourself. If you want to take a year off and just work and travel and do whatever you want to, go for it. 2020, I hope to move. I want to move and I want to have my own place for the first time and be responsible for me, myself, and all of my belongings and I'm excited about it. I really am. I want to have my own studio space. I want to be able to do whatever I want to do, when I want to do it, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what 2020 has in store for me, and my photography, and my, my future. And I don't want to just do photography. I don't want to just be a YouTuber. I don't want to just be a makeup artist. I don't want to just be a designer. I want to be all of those things. That's another thing. People tell us that we have to pick one thing to do for the rest of our lives. And that's just not realistic. I want to be many things in life and I will fight until they close the coffin to make sure that my dreams 
come true. I will not give up, ever. So I am here, and I am gonna be creating and making art and doing makeup and designing and shooting photography until the day I die. I'm looking a little bit better. Whew, girl, it was looking a little rough. My skin is just, I don't know. I have rosacea and also all this shaving. I'm like, I want laser hair removal so bad because this constant shaving is irritating my skin so bad. So that's another thing in 2020, more lip filler and laser hair removal. <laughs> After foundation, just like with my Myrtle Beach tutorial, air spun. We're gonna set the face with air spun. I love this stuff. Incredible. That powder just got in my eyelashes. Whew. There. All right, you guys, foundation is done. I popped on some more Tarte Shape Concealer and now I have just used Airspun to put uh, powder onto my face so we're not shiny and looking sweaty. Um, and now I'm going to dive in again with the Anastasi Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And we're gonna start chiseling the face. Let's do the backwards three, y'all. How many of you guys remember that? The backwards three. That's low key how I learned how to contour. Really? That damn thing. Ugh. If you guys are wondering what that is, it's literally like our water pump or our gas tank or something over there. Um, it keeps turning on and off, on and off. And it's driving me crazy. But also this year, you guys, I am really starting to collect makeup. Um, what you can't see right in front of me is a table full of brand new products um, that I am waiting to dive into in 2020. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I'm brand new to this new, you know, makeup world or whatever you want to call it. And I'm excited to see where it takes me, you know? Um, I'm fresh to the game, you know, this is all new to me. Um, I have been doing makeup for, I don't know, a couple of years. I've been doing it on my models and I've only been doing makeup on myself starting this year. So I feel like I've learned a lot um, and it's all thanks to YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube tutorials and I love it. I think it's so interesting Interesting. I think it's so interesting <laughs> and um, I just love, I love the art of it. I love transforming because I'm going to keep it really real with you. Some days, damn, that little eyelash keeps popping up. Um, some days I don't love myself, you know, and I think we all can relate. Um, I don't always like what I see in the mirror and sometimes I want to start painting and transforming and bringing together a new sort of character. And makeup really allows me to do that. So that's really the main reason why I love makeup. And also it's just fucking fun. And doing my model's makeup, I see what it does for them, I, it completely transforms a person. It really allows a person to open up and express themselves in a new, different way. All right, so now we're gonna dive into highlighter. And I am going to be using, again, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this little highlighting palette. She's dirty. <sighs> Girl, excuse me, Anastasia. She's dirty, but, um, she gets the job done, honey. Look at that. Now, if you have come to this channel wanting to see a natural makeup look, go ahead and exit out of this. You will not find that here. I am not into that. Um, it's just not what inspires me. If that inspires you, go for it. Um, 
I really like something a little bit more interesting, um, a little bit more challenging, and um, that is what you will find here on this channel. Sweetie, powder everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna first try out this Revlon lipstick. This is in shade 045 in Naughty Plum. Okay, Naughty. I really like this shade. I think it's really pretty. Um, and I think I'm gonna just stick with it. Come on, Revlon. Thank you, honey. All right, so now it's time to set this face. I am going to use the Mario Badiscu setting spray. Just to lock her in. Girl, this fan is, she's broken. She's tired. She's me. 2019's over. I'm over her. 2020, let's begin. All right. Boom. All right, now I'm just gonna pat in that setting spray with my beauty blender. And lock it in place for the night. So now I think we are, we're looking good. I'm a little bored still, you guys, believe it or not. I'm, I'm still just not into it. I think we could do better. So I think I'm gonna add something else. I'm thinking about using little stars on my face, sort of as freckles. What I'm using is the Duo. This is what I use for my lashes and for like sticking on gems, crystals, stars. You can use eyelash glue. All right, everyone, this is the final look. Just throw on some more stars, just to give it a little bit more, you know, extraness. And now it's time for me to throw on my dress, throw on my wig, and, you know, hop into my eight inch heels and let's hit the club. It's time to party. All right, everyone, that completes today's YouTube video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I think, I think it turned out amazing. She is ready for the club, honey. Yes, ma'am, the fantasy is here. Oh, girl, and also these little flyaways. All right, so I wish you all a happy, happy new year. I hope you all have an incredible year this year. 2020, let's do this thing. All right, you guys, remember to stay strong, stay creative, and stay sharp. Love you. Bye.